Hello and welcome back to a let's play on Total War Free Kingdoms with Gongdu on Legendary Difficulty. Well, last time we left off, we were doing quite well. We had taken the first Emperor seat from Cao Cao. We are now one of the free Emperors. We also had a battle waiting for us here, which I was going to fight, but I did just realize as I loaded back into this campaign that this is actually going to be... Um, well, this is a farmland. It's farms. So if I were to run away and attack them again, it would it would just be a field battle and we would have four cherishes. So I legitimately think that it might actually be a better idea just to run away. This map view doesn't help me actually determine that, by the way, because obviously they're selling out, so this is always going to be like this. Um, but yeah, they are farms, so I'm pretty sure, because it's, it's only level 3 as well, judging from the size of the, um, the garrison, so I'm pretty sure it actually will just be a field battle, and while they will replenish, uh, which sucks, it does mean that we get to attack a, just a normal field battle with two, or well, two sets of trebuchets, four trebuchets total. So actually, I'm going to retreat, after all, which is not what I intended to do, but here we are doing it nonetheless. Hey, it's a Cao Cao army, and I don't know where the fuck that is. Oh, it's just, okay. You want a non-aggression pact? Mate, I don't, you don't even have any land. You also hate, like, everyone around here, so I feel like... <laughs> currently minus 1,006 at peace. Trending towards 976. Ah, oh, we're fine. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe that... Well, I guess, honestly, it would be okay, because it means not going to war with him. Um... And all of his vassals. That's the more important part of it, to be honest. But on the other hand, it probably pisses off other people. Although, it, this game doesn't really have that great of a thing where it's like, dislike you because, like, enemy of my... Or, uh, like, I don't know. Like, say, he's at war with Wang Lang and Kong Rong, etc. If I become... If I have an aggression pack with him, I don't think they care that much about that. I mean, they, they there's probably still a multiplier for it, but... It's not that big, as far as I can tell. So you know what? I will do this. Um, you have, like, no money. Do you, do you have any food? No. I mean, you don't have any land, so I don't know what... You're just gonna die soon from attrition, probably. You know what? I mean... Oh, no, never mind. I was gonna say, if he dies, we could recruit him, but of course we can't, because... Uh, we're playing as a yellow term faction. Also, interesting to know is that um, I just put up these faction vote to replace this campaign, and it looks like Yuan Shu is going to win that one. So it looks like we're going to play as Yuan Shu after the Gongdu campaign has ended. Anyway, yeah, all right, I'll take this little bit of money. I'm not even going to try and make him happier by getting rid of that number. It just doesn't even doesn't even help. I mean, we're on minus 900 and something. I don't think an extra 20 or something isn't going to make much of a difference. That army is going to become a real pain in the butt, isn't it? I kind of forgot it was there, actually, which is why this army fucked off over this way. I told, I actually just for, forgot it was there. Oh my god, the, the I guess, um, oh, it's hostile climate, etc. There's no, uh, yeah, there you go, reserves, okay. But when we go to enemy territory, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, we're at war with Liu Bei. Yep, that's exactly what we were worried about. And it looks like, uh, Tsai Mao. Oh, fuck. And they're right here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, we're on minus six food. Did I just finish some research that gave me extra food? That's pretty good. Oh, my goodness. The black dragon. Hello. All right. That's, that is an exquisite weapon. Mars Masterful uh, Artisans. Okay. What was that? No fucking... No, that was the uh, industry income one, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, I don't know how my food increased so much just now, but it did. Um, Alright. Okay, well, let's just let's have a look here. Is it actually possible to peace out with uh, you? It is. Probably not very cheap. Not cheap at all. But something I should probably thrive to have happen anyway. Don't care about that sword. Anything that I have that's silver, I have a lot of silver shit actually. Uh, like unless I had something legendary, but I don't. I had something at some point, but not anymore. All right, so that's the highest I can give you, fifty-seven. I'm gonna have to give you some land. 
The city of Badong. Where's that? Um, that's the iron mine of Badong. Badong, Badong, Badong. That's the city, is that one right there. Okay, how much is that worth to you? I'm making a lot of money from that place, I just realized. I don't really want to give that away, but I may not have a choice. Um, the city of Jianlang, that's across the river. Jianling even, sorry, I don't want to give that. Although I may have to, again. That's still 9.1. Alright, let's just have a look here. Because this town appears to be giving me quite a bit of money. The garrison here is, yeah, it's going to be a normal garrison. If I get attacked by two armies at the same time, there's not much I can do about it. Um, what else have we got to deal with? We've seen the Obey armies quite recently. I just don't know exactly where. There's a Tsatsa army down here. That I can't reach, but... Um... Fucking hell. That is not a war I was looking forward to. Okay, well, the main problem appears to be right there. This guy also could be problematic, but... I don't know. Recruiting a single general somewhere should possibly be able to just deal with that already. Uh... These are still two turns. Oh, actually, we are on 305%, but somehow it's still two turns. I didn't expect that. I was kind of assuming it was going to be two turns, which is what I've been working towards. These are actually two turns only now, though, which is kind of impressive. Maybe you just can't go below one turn. Or below two turns, just two one turn, I don't know. Either way. Um, I don't know what to go for right now. Probably one of the big ones. Food from fishing. I do really need some food. Food from farming, we already got that one. Any other food I can get? Um, income from peasantry, that's not food. Their replenishment's nice, but don't really need it from the replenishment we've currently got recently. Yeah, okay. Let's just get one of these ones. So scholars, healers, or veterans. Uh, we had a look at what they do. This one gives me... Uh, commerce income provides bonuses to local population population growth and replenishment. Uh, peasantry income, construction costs to retinue upkeep, and industry income provides a bonus to local morale and public order. Alright. What are retinue upkeep? Is that local construction construction costs to retinue upkeep? Is it it's also local retinue upkeep or is it faction wide? I don't know. Either way. I'm gonna go with um, good question. What am I gonna go with? Uh, I don't. Well, I think our most income is from uh, industry, so let's go for this one. So that is scholar uh, research. That's veteran healer scholars. All right, so seven turns till we got that. That was the ambush that we, yeah, kind of forgot about. Um, I built some buildings. That's great. Definitely want to keep upgrading that. I may need the money right now. Though. Well, first of all, I guess. Well, first of all, this is actually several things now. Actually, do you want to trade? I'd love to trade with you. Give you six grand for trade. That's not really worth it. I think I'll just give you some incendiaries instead. How about that? Um, as well as take the incendiary. I gotta give these horses away to someone, man. That's some good horses. Okay, I just gotta make sure I keep enough items. But I think I can just give away a couple of these ones, like the brown or um, the bronze ones that I don't want. Definitely anything that gives me authority, just fucking go away. These ones I'll keep, because I might give that away to someone. That one, fuck off. Oh, that's well what I need. Uh, unless you have a bunch of money for me. Uh, no. Is, is one of these things worth 60 bucks to me? Probably not. Uh, I can't trade in territory with you. I don't think there's much else I can do here. So let's just take this trade and stop giving away the stone horse. One of them. Alright. 
This raid's worth almost a thousand bucks. Yeah, that'll be worth it. I don't want to be going to war with her anytime soon. Right, so the main thing was this. Oh, I can... Uh, no, not, sorry, not that one. This one. Right. I'm still going to need all your food. All of it, please. And I'll take any ancillary you've got, which is a whopping zero. How much is this worth to you? Hmm, decent bit. Alright, just give me some money. Where's your fucking money, bitch? Alright, still two grand. I'll take that. I really wish there was an easier way to do this. Alright. 2.2 grand, 15 food, so that's going to get me out of the food issue for at least for the moment, for 10 turns. Uh, and they also give me income. I don't know how many towns they have. I guess I'll know now, probably. Uh, Han Empire. Surely them being my vassal, I should be able to see what's going on, like, what they have. Nope. Some, whoa, I wonder, maybe, that, does that mean they're out of land altogether? Well, I'm making almost 10 grand a turn, so that's something. Oh, hey, that's interesting. They left the coalition. Okay. Oh, how very interesting. Yeah, I should probably build something here. I wanted to get the building here. Uh, I think I was just going to get you know, manufacturing, right? Probably. Let's assume so. Alright, we'll get we'll get to the rest of that later. Uh, the main thing is right now, is it worth it to me getting peace with him? I'd have to give up this, this uh, province, which is making me a fair bit of money, if we're being honest. That's actually kind of a lot of money. Also giving me some food, so I'll lose some food as well. No, I actually will gain food because... Um, yeah, because this, this is actually costing me six food. Not that I need food right now. Well, I, I still need food to be fair. Um, but I'd have, to, I'd have to give him that as well as this town as well. And that actually would lose me a lot of food, so I can't really, even if I wanted to. And the problem is, I could recruit an army here in the Iron Mine, but even if I recruited a full stack, it probably wouldn't be enough to hold this back, because of course it'll be wounded to some degree. Uh, and then there's a second army, which I don't even know where that one's going to go, but it currently looks like it's going this way. So do I just immediately say, okay, they're going to take this, don't even bother trying to defend it? Or do I recruit, recruit an army there and then... If it doesn't work, I can always just submit defeat, basically, or like give them the town, essentially. But then I just paid a bunch of money for an army I'm not going to use, so that's not really useful either. Do I recruit an army here, let it replenish for two turns, and start setting down that way and murder, or, murder them all? Do I recruit an army in Ba? Do I recruit an army in Ba and in Shangyong? Also definitely a possibility. I mean, I certainly need more armies. There's no two ways about that. I'm glad he didn't ask this guy in the, to that war yet, by the way. Don't know if I can really call it lucky, but... Oh, wow, we don't have movement at all to get there in a single turn. Well, that's okay. Still gonna move there. Okay, let's, let's do the, the more fun shit, I suppose. First of all, attack that place. Um, it is... Yeah, it's definitely a field battle. Start them out. And you're gonna move over. And you can... Is that reinforcement range? I may have to force march. That would suck. I think I have to. Nope. Alright. Uh, sure. Yeah, I think they would do that. Worth a try. Okay. Other fun stuff. What else have we got? You're gonna have to go take that farmland there. Uh, I'd like to get there next turn. I'm not sure if I can. I'm just gonna move over here. Lose a little bit of replenishment. Doesn't matter because the replenishment's that insane. This guy might try and take my farmland here, but if he wants, to, if he does, then I'll take it back right away. So I will start moving this way. Oh wow, I couldn't even get there next turn. How the fuck is that even a thing? Definitely need replenishment on this army too, but... Fuck me, moving out of town made like a, the tiniest difference. Alright, um... 
see, you're on your way there. We got two armies occupied over here, which kind of sucks. This is too much. I think that once I've taken care of this, I can probably just send one army that way and one army south or something. Then again, there's quite a lot of shit to take around here. Um... These armies here, right? These ones are having fun fun time still. This is all the fun shit. I'm gonna have to fight this one though, or not? Yes. Okay, well, we'll fight that one. And then this one over here is actually not gonna reach. Still nothing though. I'm also mostly worried about these towns just. Oh yeah, reserves isn't helping. Although that's gonna be fixed, so that we should be okay. But even so, yeah, this place, for example, faction support is the problem, nothing else, so. That's going to be problematic. Uh, same goes for... Actually, I think that's the same place, but yeah. Um, other than that, how many unhappy provinces do I have, actually? Uh, anything that's like minus... Minus 27, although... It, are we under siege or something here? What is this? Why is this so fucking unhappy? Oh, reserves, right, right, right. Okay, yeah, it's probably, it's probably a bad time to check this right now, because reserves are really fucking everyone over. So let's just not even bother checking this right now, next turn, if I remember. Um, right, there could be shit from over here as well. I think I'm going to recruit, I'm just going to let this be, I think. I don't think there's any point trying to recruit an army there, because it just won't be enough. I'm going to recruit an army here and send it over down south pretty soon after. Uh, so who's going to get recruited? So I think I might leave the people who have a single dude, uh, like Zhang, Zhu Bao, uh, Xin Pu, and Gongxin Guang, even. Um, just let them be, because I can just easily... I, I like being able to recruit them where I need them in an instance. Um, Han Xian is not particularly happy being here, but he is quite good. From the looks of things. Well, his level is high. I think that's the main thing, actually. Han Xian. Uh, you're spiteful, elusive, vengeful, and honest. Pop that one in there, why not? Uh, you kind of leveled up a bit weirdly, though. I'm going to be honest with you. Mr. Enlightened Student. Okay, who else we got? Guanzu is currently on deployment somewhere. So is Liu Liao Ping. And Yan Ting Bao. And I'm sure there's other people. Why am I checking all those? Um, it's kind of difficult to see who I'd want to recruit. I guess we'll start with a veteran. For our range unit, so Ying Ru. Okay, you don't get the special. Uh, you you get it after one level. Populist, arrogant, coordinated. Eh, you're okay. Grudge against some random faction. I don't give a fuck about. All right. So Chumo. I'll recruit you here. Chumo. That one. Alright, uh, you're gonna just see who likes you, and then just kind of go off of that. Um, I kind of would prefer someone cheap, not not someone who already has a bunch of units, because unfortunately that just makes us pay more money for it. Um, but having said that, I also kind of just... it doesn't really matter that much. I just want high level dudes. Ooh, these guys are pretty good though. But they're not part of my faction right now, which must be for a reason. Uh, I don't know what the fuck the reason is, but this guy's insane. So, Yi Luan, you're getting recruited. Unless this guy's even better, but that's almost not possible. Let me see your stats, actually. Yeah, you're hell, hella expertise already. Yep, I'm definitely recruiting you. And then finally, we'd want either a healer or uh, another veteran. Either one works. But preferably a healer. We got Zheng Huan. Appears to be okay. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Song Sun Chong. Yeah, you're fine. You already have the heal ability as well, which is always good. Not even gonna bother checking what you got leveled up right now. You're just, you're fine. Okay, so that's an army I've recruited, but I need still need to obviously recruit all the units as well. So let's do that first before I recruit a second army, because this is gonna be pretty expensive too. I'm not sure if I'll even be able to get a full army. No, I definitely won't be able to get a full army recruited. Um, a bunch of those, and then I need a cabin here. I can't afford to recruit the cab, unfortunately. I got a white wave horseman, which I can't even recruit yet. I don't think that's pretty cool. 
probably won't keep it because it'll be just a single unit kind of throws things off um these will be those guys yeah i don't have the money at all anymore is there any way i can get money i mean there's definitely some buildings i'm building but most of that's increasing my food so i don't think it's really worth canceling that unfortunately i'm gonna have to wait until next turn and then just recruit or finish off this army and then hopefully also be able to recruit most of the second army it'll probably take three turns to recruit these armies fully Nice thing is at least that even though it's recruited this entire fucking army, we're still making nine grand per turn, so that's pretty good. I guess the um, yeah, these guys just cost sixty-eight bucks per turn now. That's incredible, incredibly cheap. Um, also, I could have won too many of these. I was gonna, of course, go two trebuchets, so I kind of messed that up, but that's okay. At least it starts replenishing right away. Just a small waste of money, not too big. So yeah, no peace. It's not happening. Armies. Actually, we've got an unhappy person. Oh, someone wants to leave our faction, I see. Well, that can be arranged, my good man. So yeah, you are level 5, but you're not incredibly good. You kind of leveled up weirdly, so I suppose I am okay with letting you go. Han Xian. See you later. Wait, where are you at? You're over here. No, you're not. Han Xian. Where are you? Where the fuck is... is he in here? No. No, I'm just blind, actually. What the... There you are. You're just not legendary. That's how shit you are, mate. Alright, see you later. Uh, and then I need to, of course, also give these guys all the right equipment. So first of all, you, my friend, are gonna get this little G. And here's a horse, why not? Need to get by these horses. Yep, that one's pretty good. You can have that. And... That's not bad. It's, uh, that's, that's, that's not bad. It's okay. Um, okay. You... Are gonna take... A regular military Jian. And now I'm good on that one. That's really good for you. And that is not. So you're gonna get some... Yep, there you go. Iron Snake, always good. And you are gonna get this spear. Bit of a waste on you, to be honest, but it's okay. You're gonna get this horse as well. And then you're gonna get some random fucking item that's gonna increase you somehow. You know what, that's perfect for you. And a horse, perhaps. We have a, oh god. We have an item that gives him a, f yeah, that one. Morale for melee calf, there you go, perfect. Like something extra on top of the already established statistics. Okay, so we got a battle waiting for us here, and we got a battle waiting for us up here. And we got a whole bunch of shit waiting for us everywhere else. How old are you? 66. Please live until 75 or something. I need you for a while longer, my my, my friend. My, 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 my friend. Also, how many armies am I allowed to have? Eight but I get plus five from the yellow sky mandate. So I am allowed to have 13 because I actually think I'm coming up on eight here. In fact, we have eight right now. Can I, well, let me just check actually. Could I recruit another army? Yeah, I can. That's a, oh yeah, we can have 20 armies. Never mind, we're fine. I was gonna say, that's actually kind of important. I feel like I need to recruit those three generals here. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, that's on my season on deployment, so I can't actually recruit anymore. Well, better hope you're uh, good enough. Should probably give her some items as well. Being seeing as how she comes up so often, uh, kind of tempted to give her that weapon. She can just be my come around and murder everyone person. Come around here and murder. Here you, go, you can have that. And some other instinct thing. Do I have something? Probably not. I've got HP though for the resolve, so that's probably second best. Got a bow for it. I got a lot of fucking shitty bows. Fucking shitty bows. I don't need any military supplies on her, so that'd be kind of wasted on her, but I guess damage is okay. Yeah, here's a horse. A stone horse. No, that's horrible. I can hate those bonuses you get. Alright, let's do a small battle first. It's, oh god, you know what, I'm almost tempted to get a piece of uh, south side just so I can send all these armies down south right now. We are kind of done here. 
We gotta kill this guy off, but then, you know, as long as we can keep peace for everyone. The thing is, there's all these towns over here are just ripe for the taking right now. Also, I can't believe I can't actually reach that. Is there just no bridge there or something? There is a bridge, but you're in the way, right? Okay, so once he's moved, I should be able to move there easily. I was gonna say, that makes no sense. Like, I can move that far in a single turn, and somehow I can only get up to there in a single turn. <laughs> it's just fucking ridiculous. Anyway, see, I, I gotta keep this up. I mean, especially, I wanna take this trade port, and then I wanna take some other stuff around here. Like, that one, possibly next turn, maybe this... You know, he's only got, like, well, to be fair, he's only got that one and this one afterwards. Maybe a little bit more, actually, but I don't know. Also, that's owned by Wang Lang, who I'm not at war with. But probably hates me. Let's do a battle. So this is gonna be a fun one, at least. That's the thing, is that the battles are still quite fun, it's just that we're getting very close to the point where I'm going to be overrun and there's nothing I can do about it anymore. Except that's not entirely true, because there is definitely something I can do about it, and that is building more armies. But we are going to lose at least a town, possibly more. Also, I might get some money from these and I will be able to recruit the other units. Ooh. I don't, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to recruit two trebuchets as well as... Um, as well as all the cav and stuff that is required, but I can probably get close enough. It's a nice jungle area here. Where did I attack from last time? As long as I have vision on the actual position, like there's no hill in the way. It's all good. Like here, we can already not see that, so we don't want to attack from there. This one looks perhaps fine. It's kind of still on a downhill slope, which is not what we really want, because shots get missed very easily on downhill slopes. I think this one's fine right here. All right, let's get ourselves some experience, boys. Oh, boys. The calf, and the calf, and the generals. Definitely have forgotten them before. I'm not sure if that was this campaign. I think it was the other one, but still. All right, fire at this position, please. And triple speed. Actually, you know what? One of you should fire over here. Although, there aren't really that many units to fire at. Just fire at a unit specifically. Okay. I actually probably should triple speed this entire battle. Like, what's, what's, what could possibly go wrong, right? Um, okay, you start firing at them now. You start firing at... Yeah, keep firing at that unit, that's fine. Most of the melee units will die before they even reach me. I mean, look at that. It's just destroyed. Where are you even trying to kill? There you go. Oh, here we go. Hello. Fire, boys. Okay. That unit's taking a bit of a fucking beating, actually. Hmm. We're out of ammo on our archers. Alright, you guys go kill that unit. I'm gonna get shot by the towers a little bit, but... That unit is taking a significant beating right now, and I don't like it. I'm taking a beating, and I don't like it. Get my armor increased over here, at least. Even you guys are almost out of ammo. Yeah, I guess if I can't shoot that many units at the same time. And also, apparently I just don't have much ammo in general. But yeah, if I can't clump up units and shoot them all at the same time, it doesn't appear to be that useful. Oh, you guys... Oh, they're out of ammo. Well, fuck it, I'm here now. Did I make them route? No. Yes, I did, actually. Ish. Okay, it's just uh, these couple units here now, which are almost riding as well. One of them is, two of them are just that G infantry captain. Alright. Get him back up to full HP. Okay, that was fine. One of the units took a bit more damage than it maybe needed to, but it's alright. Increasing our army by, armor by 50% for 20 or 30 seconds, however long it was, that was actually pretty useful. No one in the middle really took any damage. Stuck in the middle with you. Alright, that's not a lot of money, but generally get more money from actual taking the town as well. Alright, so that's that's decent. Oaks War, nice. Okay. 
Uh, and then we get a couple more units over here. Well, I suppose first of all, let me get these. Oh, it's doing it in the wrong fucking order. Alright. Cab then. We're only 660. It's not that bad. Oh, that's it already. Okay. But this is the big one. Uh, so yeah, it's a f it's a normal battle on the fields. We have four trebuchets. We're not even in Force March Dance or anything. Or Well, it's just March Dance, actually. I keep calling it Force March. I'm pretty sure it was Force March Dance in um, other Total War games. They introduced it all the way back in Rome 2. Which is also when they introduced the system of having to recruit with a general. Rather than just recruiting units generally like in Shogun 2. And then just moving them around as much as you want. Which... If you really look deep into my heart, it's probably still my preferred system, but oh well. Alright, snow is good for both. It's good for me because it's going to take them longer to get to me. It's bad for me because I also want to get my trebuchets over here, and it might take them too long to do so. But I think it'll be okay. Um, this is a normal battle. Let's put our... I'm also going to put both of you over here. Actually, gonna move the entire army basically like that. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Because the reinforcement's gonna take the other side. And then they can sing hello from the other side. Uh, Trebuch. Tre Over here, please. And generals. Alright. Yes, I too agree with that statement. Alright, that's the left side calf. The left side calf. Come on. Give it to me. There you are. Extend the line. Come here. Do we even have vision all the way over there? Yeah, I guess we do actually. It's just over there, we don't have vision. I'm right in there. Hello, reinforcements. Would you... Would you care? To come on, please. Actually, that's the position of those trebuchets. I actually could just move the army back as well. Maybe that's a good idea. Eh, they're almost in range already. Maybe not. I don't know what they're doing. Man, I don't know what these fools are up to. All I know is just... I got to get my men over here. Alright, so that's all the range units as well. Wait, what? And now we triple speed. Fuck, we just trebuchets are going to take ages to get there. I really probably should move back. Alright, the entire army plop back a bit. Oh, fuck, there they are. They're all moving over here, though. I don't know why. They must be... Well, no, I was going to say they meet... they're meeting up over here, but they can't be. Because... Ugh, okay, fuck. I'm just going to have to move over. My, the trebuchets... Otherwise, my own trebuchets, the starting ones, are going to have to move too far back, and that's not really helpful either. Because then they're the ones who are going to be able to shoot either. And then I've got no one firing instead of at least two. Oh, God. This movement through the snow is just horrendous. You get an increased movement speed reduction. 25% though, no, it's the same. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm glad I am turning my trebuchets around. Because I'm pretty sure we're already in range. General squad, minus this guy who decided not to show up for some reason. Did I forget you? Oh, you're still on the way, never mind. Alright, how many, um... I actually only have one veter or veteran that has that ability, never mind. You don't do shit. And you have a heal. Okay. Alright, we're firing. Unfortunately, these are the trebuchets that don't have flaming shots. Ugh, this is actually going to be kind of painful here. Get these guys back. I'm going to have to make my line longer. Make it a double line, perhaps. Also, the one that's all the way on the edge, which is you. I'm going to go back like that, and so you guys are going to go like there. And oof, they got a lot of crossbows and shit as well. Trebuchets are even firing. You are. They all have loose formation as expected. You know what? General squad. 
It's kind of a few too many, but let's go murder someone. Uh, does he want to duel anyone? The character doesn't want to duel. You know, I feel like that would probably be his best choice, is to duel so he doesn't get stuck in melee. All of, so he's apparently better than all of my characters, but come on, 6v1. Come on. Uh, archers are not yet firing. I feel like I should have just gone for a... Uh, send everyone back instead. Man, Zhang fucking Kai is well excited to start this battle. Let's get you guys out to white, because these. Oh, there's a repeating crossbowman. There's also some regular crossbowman as well, though. Okay, he's getting wrecked to Rooney, as one might expect from a 6v1. Gongs and Zoo, my fucking ass. Wreck him, boys. I don't want to see your face around here again. Okay, I've got any cool, cool abilities I can use. Some uh, desperate cry. Ha! <laughs> That's my desperate cry. <laughs> Did you like it? <laughs> oh shit, it's time to my arch is behind the line. Oi, the lot of y'all. Let's go back here, shall we? Also, you. Oh god, you don't have fire shot either, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, just line up over here and start firing. Ah. The nice thing about having six generals all close to each other is that I've got two heals I can use. Although, again, I guess it doesn't actually work that way. It doesn't work that way. I don't work that way. Um, right. I do apologize about that. Let's get you guys out wide as well now. Okay, it's time to get some infantry reinforcements in the reinforcements places that need reinforcements. Did I give you guys a target, or are you firing a will? You're firing a will. Will's in there somewhere. Just keep firing at him. Some, uh... Some buffaroonies over here. It's not time for healing just yet. Killing rounds? Killing round, boys. Okay, let's go kill these archers. If you wouldn't mind... I guess infantry wise actually were totally fine, they just don't have enough men to walk up to my line in time. I need one of you guys to kill this all. Oh god. Use your heal on yourself. Nice one. Okay, that's a- oh my, you didn't get healed because you were deciding to go off by yourself. Well, that was a terrible decision, wasn't it? What a disgrace. Okay, you charged in there, you did a fuck ton of damage. Time to go charging over here again. You need to get the fuck out of there, you need to go kill that unit now. Although I think you're still fighting that one. Hey, you know what? You go fight that one. You're killing off that unit while being chased by some Saber Militia, who gives a crap. Go charge in here again, actually. Ha! The enemy warriors are running. Flee for your life. Buffs, boys. They don't call me the buff boys for nothing. That sounds kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. That sounds pretty weird. Alright, you messed all those units up. Fantastic. Luckily, this is also a town, so we don't even have to kill everything off. We just gotta win this one. Alright. Um... Hey, you weren't part of that heal, so that kind of sucks, but that, that, I, that, I do wonder if that means he could still actually receive the heal. I think we're about to win this one, actually. Let's make it even more desperate for them by just healing everyone again. Does it work? Were you in range of it? You were. But you, it still didn't seem to work at all. Okay, so no one actually got the heal. Fair enough. Alright, let's go kill the general, shall we? You, 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 you. Actually, you too. You go kill him. You over here as well. And everyone stop fucking moving for a second. I didn't. I don't think I actually caught anyone important with that. Oh no, I called the general. He's actually he's stationary. Nice one. All right, it actually is just him that hasn't run yet. I think that was a fun battle. It was much easier than I expected it to be. I can't. Well, initially I expected it to be easy. Then my armies were kind of far away from each other, etc. 
and then I kind of expected it to go more poorly than it did for some reason. I don't know why, honestly. I guess because of all the crossbows and stuff and me not having crossbows. There he goes, finally. He actually, I, I think he literally had unbreakable as a skill. Or as a trait, I suppose. Alright, well, it's a town, so we don't have to murder everyone off, luckily. But yeah, trebuchets without explosive shot are just fucking shit. Well, no, no, no. They're still good, but. They're just fucking shit, though, aren't they? Alright, that's some good money. I still don't think it's enough to recruit all the stuff that I need, but it's gonna get me there. It's getting me closer. We killed Nikai. Killed Li Fu. And we killed Gongshun Zhu. Is that. Gongshun Zan's son? I am. So sorry. Also, that farmland's gonna increase my food. And look at that 20 food. Even if we lose all the food from uh, the boys. The Han, we're still gonna be okay. Right, so sorry to replace this unit, because I do like it. I do I think I would actually want to have this unit if I were to be able to recruit more of them. But I can't, so there you go. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I just noticed as I um clicked on a replace you this unit can actually be renamed because it's level 10 <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> I'm still not gonna keep a level 10 peasant warrior unit but um, yeah a bit of a shame because you replace it it does become just a level 4 that it is meant to be oh no everything is ruined okay hold on God damn it, it's gonna cost me more money just to get this all in the order that I want it to be in. Cause I just replaced this unit, now I'm gonna have to replace it again. I'm gonna be one trebuchet short. I can recruit one. Yeah. Okay. Even with that mistake, I don't think I would have had mon enough money. Or without that mistake. So, fair enough. Alright. That army is gonna replenish in two turns, and then I'll be able to. Go and attack this iron mine and take it back from the fiendish foe. You fiendish foe, I'll have it, take it back. Uh, melee, armor piercing, melee damage, replenishment. That's just a gener generally a good one. This is pretty good as well. A little bit less good, perhaps, but still pretty good. Uh, that's always good. I don't know if we've got night battles already. Yeah, I'm going to go for the melee attack rate and all that. It's pretty, pretty solid. Pretty solid right there. That's, that's not bad, that. I also never checked if anyone's a better leader than anyone else here. So let's do that. You get a whopping nothing. You get totally nothing. You have, hey, plus five military spies in enemy territory. All right, let's make this guy the commander and then this guy the commander so that this guy's at the back. So we got cav infantry ranged. It's all good. In the hoot. I can't wait to take this so just I don't have this random red fucking area in my land anymore. I mean, to be fair, we've painted the map pretty consistently so far. I mean, this is kind of a weird streak over here, but other than that, it's pretty consistent. Um, like, expanding in all directions at the same time. We just have left a massive gap over here now, and now that we're at war with all those people, we're going to be paying the price. But this is why we recruit this army over here, and we're going to recruit another one here next turn. So it's gonna be all bueno. Um, also, I guess I can check how much money. Tributary is 580. So yeah, we can actually see how much money we're making from that. Okay, so now that we've dealt with this, I think one army is just gonna go straight up. Well, actually, no, I think both armies are still gonna go this way. I'd either have to trespass or take the longer routes. No Mines of Moria for me, it seems. But yeah, I think maybe we'll have one army going this way and one army going south. We are also at war with... Uh, Lee or uh, Yuan Shao's former faction. He is, of course, dead zoid, but still. Peace with Cao Cao, but we know this is not a good deal. It's just not worth it to me right now. Like, maybe after I, if I take, next turn, if I take these two things and I can get peace with him, I'll trade him for the city if I can, but he probably won't do that. 
Uh, Vassal Independence from Yuan Shu. Nah, let's just keep that. I don't have any reason to piss off Yuan Shu any further right now. I can maybe get peace with some other people. I don't really want peace with you, although your army could actually become annoying, but... Because, I, yeah, I could easily get that piece if I wanted to, but I'm also on the way to take that town, and that would actually be a decent town for me. Uh, Kingdom of Ba, I don't really want to peace out with you. I'm surprised. I, well, I guess we haven't really killed any of their armies. We just destroyed their towns, but... Or taken their towns, but those are all, un, like, really low-level towns. So, honestly, they haven't really... We haven't really seen any of their armies yet at all. Um... Gongshin Zan, we just destroyed one of your armies. That's okay, we could easily reach that 15.7. It's another one of those things where I'm not really that bothered, though. Um, I feel like piecing out of him is just not going to help me that much. Except for, of course, make, having less wars and it being less likely that people will declare a war on me. But um, Yeah, I think we're just going to leave it. I would love peace with you, but 83.4... Having to give him both the towns that we don't want to give him. Uh, four grand per turn. That's just straight up not going to happen. So yeah, we'd, we'd have to give him... Like, better ancillaries and more ancillaries. Plus the two towns. It's just... No. It would, give me, it would, take, it would cost too much food from me. Which, to be fair, I guess I could very easily lose this. Because the armies we've seen so far aren't, aren't even his. He's probably got a bunch of armies around here too. Are you even at war with anyone well. else? No, oh, it's just me. So he's going to be focusing all of his military effort on me. And we have no armies anywhere near this either. So I may have to. I may be forced to recruit another army here. Like, we can, up, up, we can upkeep-wise afford it right now. Or income-wise. It's just that we obviously need the money to initially recruit, recruit the armies. And that's the expensive part for now. But anyway, there's another Liu Bei army that's going to arrive shortly. Oh, there's the Han Empire. I didn't even see them. What the fuck? Okay, so, well, we knew this, this was going to happen. I... I don't know if recruiting a couple generals would have mattered. I didn't have any more seasonal deployments, so it wouldn't have mattered. In that sense, anyway. Fighting this... I could kill off some archers, perhaps, but they'll just get them back again. I don't think there's any real point. Although my army is going to be here in a couple of turns, but... They will have replenished enough that it... Probably doesn't matter enough. Yeah, I definitely would have done better, but I can't be too upset about that one. Oh, we're at war with Huang Xu as well now, which is annoying, and that I kind of saw coming. Plus, we probably immediately took attrition there. Yep, we did. So, that's no good. So yeah, we're at war with uh, Wang Zhu now, and my vassal joined in. Hey, that's great. Also, my vassals, surprisingly, holy sh! Wait, what the fuck? Whoa! The Han Empire is huge. Wait, what? I'm so surprised. I'm confused. I thought this was already. Wait, huh? I thought this was his land. What? I guess I didn't know before. Holy shit. The Han Empire is huge. It's, I mean, they probably have no military strength, I guess, but town-wise, they're huge. And they're joining in the war with me, so that's that's pretty nifty. Also, that tells me that there's not really much land of the Kingdom of Ba left, so at least after these armies have dealt with this, we can just get in there immediately afterwards. Alright. Well, you yeah, you got all your vassals in to join. Um, okay, Kong Rong is in the same coalition. He might declare war on me, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Lost the iron mine. Um, okay, they're at war now with this guy up here. I don't really think that's relevant to me. He liberated. He didn't want to join that war. Uh, and then he signed peace right away. Okay, that was an interesting turn of events. Duty. Okay, fair enough. All right. Yeah, this is the big problem we've got right now. What we could possibly do... Okay, it's kind of risky here. What's our chance of winning this one? We already have low men, like less men than he does. He's got a lot of archers. He's got experience, whereas I have none. Like, the archers I could probably take care of with the cav, but he's got cav as well. John's sword guard cav as well. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, um... I'm gonna put that on hold for a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that he will 
let me... He will give me a turn, so I can take his town and then offer him peace. Because I'm going to take this next turn. I need a little bit of replenishment, but I think I'm okay with that. You're going to follow the slow way, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I don't want to piss off Hanfu right now. So we're committing everything to going this way. If he does end up taking this, we're going to have to recruit another army over there, which I really don't want to do. So we're, we're putting it all on a fucking prayer, basically, but that's all right. We also got a ton of assignments available again. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, no, let's recruit stuff first, because the assignment's going to take a while. Okay, you can reach this army. 24% movement left over. I don't know how or exactly where they're going to go, but... Okay, that was... Yeah, that went way too far. Unfortunate, but... Oh, well. You, can you reach this town? You can't. Great. Hey, it's Satsa. Well, then. Oh, and Xiao Hudun. And Lady Bian? Yes. Okay. This is a pretty solid army of mine. In fact, I think I'd lovely... I'd, I'd love to take a duel against Xiao Hudun. Oh, my God. He's got that fucking giant bane. He's, I mean, he's pretty scary as a general, but we have fucking Pei Yuan Shao, or we could even make Huang Shao duel him and then just use the buffs for Pei Yuan Shao near him, but I think Pei Yuan Shao is pretty fucking beastly as a duelist himself. Yeah, we'll probably fight that army. Hopefully he doesn't get reinforcements from the town, but I don't think so. That'll be an interesting battle. Um, Hello. You're just joining your uh, your vassal master guy. That's that's fine by me. Right. So yeah, we are at war of him as well now. So I need to kind of recruit another army over there as well. Liu Bei has gone this way, which means I don't have to recruit an army here. That's uh, saved me a little bit. I do need to replenish more. Hmm. Wondering if I should head on head on over here. I can go into ambush stance. Okay, I won't quite fully replenish, but close enough that I don't care. If I can ambush him there, get one down immediately, that'd be great. Um, okay. I will need to recruit another army. Whether that will be around here. We saw, Yeah, so we know there's an army here. I can't believe this fucking hassle is this large. There's another army there, and lady. Nope, that's... Oh, it's Sun Wen. Sun Wen. Sun Wen. Uh, okay, well, first of all, I always say first of all, and then not, it's not actually the first thing I do. That is going to take a long time. Do I just stop fighting him so much with both armies and actually just go and take some other towns from the Obey? Uh, this is a regular field battle, so we'll fight that one manually too. Alright, how long would it take you to get there? Two turns uh, if I sprint. It's going to be very awkward here, because if we attack that place, we're just going to be in the middle of fucking nowhere. Actually, not that much in the middle of nowhere, because right here is my vassal. But I'd really, I would prefer taking all this stuff around here and then working my way up again, to be honest, and it's basically working our way around like that. Like, sweeping it all up. How long would it take you to get here if I ran? Probably still three turns. Kind of feel no, nah, you know what? Yeah, well, I've just we'll just have this army doing doing all the the, the sweeping over here, and then you can, you can start working on over here. Yeah, I think that's fair. There's probably nothing there. I'm putting my entire fucking I'm risking the entire army on that one, probably, but oh well. So you can't reach anything, unfortunately. You couldn't reach, but you can luckily reach. So we've got another battle waiting for us here, unless that's an easy result, but I very much doubt it. We don't even have night battle here. Uh, that one will actually be a field or another field battle, a uh, settlement battle. But that's okay. Okay, so while I have the chance to recruit an army, I think I should, um, because I, I have to actually start thinking about seasonal deployment. So since I'm at war over here as well now, I could recruit one here and start attacking over here in the back, because I feel like I want to take out this whole area as fast as possible, because that gives me a united front again. 
Um, if I deal with all the armies around here, take all the towns, I don't have to worry about getting attacked around this weird area anymore. Because again, it's just kind of an, a penetration in here now, because we left this undefended since I didn't expect to get attacked here. Probably should have, but you know. Um, so yeah, I think taking or building an army here and then just start taking all these towns around here is probably not a bad idea. So you know what, Jangling is going to be the next location of our, or the army of our next location. Location of our next army, there you go. So, who's going to be Ghostbusters? Let's see who the best veteran is, as I tend to do. Actually, no, yeah, we need to see who has the ability to recruit. Um, or to get the um, explosive shots and get it quickly. So you can get it, but it takes you two level ups at least to get it. And you're not particularly great as a... You're good on the green, but not on the cunning, which is what you would need. You can get it after a single level, but you're... Well, you're pretty good, actually. Yeah, I'll take this guy. Shu Fang is currently number one. Shu Fang number one. Um, yeah, because you got some other level ups, which are fine, I guess. But you got uncomplicated, which I don't want. And also, it takes him two levels to get there. And him only one. You take two, you take two. You don't get it at all. You don't get it at all either. You take two, and you're only level one. Yep, alright, so it's gonna be. Shu Fang. Seems to be quite decent. Alright. And then we'll just build the army around him. Nope. Shu Fang, please. Okay. And Shin Pu likes him again. That's not great because he's one of the ones I can easily recruit somewhere if I need to. So I don't really want to recruit him if I don't have to. Uh, for healers, we've got Zheng Huan. And that appears to be the only character that actually likes him. Okay, let's have a look at Zhang Huan. This one. I mean, we don't really have much choice, to be fair. He already has the heal ability, which makes him automatically decent. I think I... Oh, minus 50% retinue upkeep. I love that too. Yeah, this guy's alright. He's not the best character in the world, but he's okay. He's only level 2 as well. This army is just not going to be as good as the other ones. So we we'll just put it down to that. All right, and then for a um, scholar, we have a couple of choices as well. Again, preferably not someone who's already got characters out. Oh, sorry, who doesn't have any characters out. Because those are the people I want to easily recruit. Okay, we got a couple of good dudes here that like both. Okay, so Zhao, Feng, and Zhu Lang. Um, you come with a book. You come with a lot more expertise and a bow and a sword. The sword actually is not even. You, yeah, you seem to be better stat wise, but let's have a look at the other stuff. Honorable, selfless, and artful. Yep, those are all great. You got elusive, patient, and ascetic. All great as well. Um, you have the melee attack rate. You have all the abilities already. Yeah, I think I like this guy more. He's 61 years old. That's unfortunate. Well, do I bother putting any effort into him or just go for this guy then? Because this guy is definitely better, but 61 years old, he might just die soon. I'd be wasting time recruiting or like leveling him up, basically. Eh, fuck it. I'll get him anyway. 61 year old. Welcome to the squad. All right, who's the best commander? Military supplies in enemy territory. Military supplies in enemy territory. And nothing. So it's one of the other two. Uh... So you're ranged. You're cab. Okay, so we'll make you commander. And you commander. Okay. Oh my god. He's such low level, he can't actually recruit cab yet. <laughs> Fuck me. Alright, I didn't expect that. Okay. Uh, fair enough. We'll, we'll work with it. Uh, I could at least build up this army for the most part. You know what? No, we'll wait on that. And we'll just recruit these ones and then that one. Just so I, they start replenishing right away. Okay. Yeah, this is a bit awkward. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do about that, but... I guess just recruit some spearmen or something. I can't really recruit much right now, so let's leave that for the moment. We have a bunch of battles waiting for us again, though, so we can just get more money from that. Including the South South battle. Didn't really think about that, but we have that one waiting for us too. That's pretty sweet. Uh, and then we've got 
a battle over here, which is pretty straightforward. And I think we had one more waiting for us too. So we'll do this one first, but I'm going to do that just to save the game essentially. So yeah, it is that one, and then I could have sworn I had one more uh, over here. Yeah, yeah the, the, that one should be fun as well, actually. Okay, cool. So that's going to be that for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Next time, more of the same. Hopefully, well, actually, no, you know, hopefully not more of the same. I need to actually start winning some wars and killing off people. I really think once we can, if we can clear all this up, we're going to be totally fine. Because even if we have to fight on, on this entire front... That's totally fine, because we're all basically already doing all of that anyway. We just have two armies wasted here and one army wasted here. If those three armies can meet up over here as well, we just have so many armies running over them. But we got to get there first, and this is going to be the hard part of the campaign. Which, you know, this campaign hasn't been hard enough uh, so far at all, obviously. Also, is there a rebellion happening? No, seven besieged, right? Okay, that's why it's orange or purple pink. What the hell am I saying? It's pink. Anyway, until next time, have a good day and goodbye.